Do you know that there is always a part of a saint buried underneath the altar of every dedicated Catholic church? Hi, Sam. It's Know Your Faith series and I am Elefati. So, before any church is dedicated, there is usually a piece of a saint buried underneath the altar of the church. These sacred pieces are called relic and it's preserved for the purpose of veneration as a tangible memorial. Now, relic is gotten from the Latin word relique, meaning remains. Throughout history, relics have been a source of miraculous healing, inspiration of faith, and advancement of the kingdom. These miracles have been documented, even beginning in the scriptures. Moses carried the bones of Joseph out of Egypt, Exodus 13 verse 19. Men placed a dead man into the tomb of Elisha, and the dead man came back to life. 2 Kings 13, 21. People touched close to St. Paul's hands. Then they touched that same close to the sick and they were healed. Acts 19, verse 11. St. Ambrose and St. Augustine wrote about personally witnessing miracles after a martyr's relic touched a sick man. Even today, many miracles have been reported in relation to relics of the recently canonized Saint Padre Pio. Of course, not every veneration of a relic results in miraculous healings. Yes, but it always connects the person with the saint and therefore God. Relics could be an actual bone, vial of a blood, an item used by the saint, such as a prayer book or a cloth touched to the saint's body. Over time, the church categorized relics into three. We have the first class. This is a part of the saint's body. We have the second class, something personally used or owned by the saint. We have the third class, an item touched to a first class or second class relic. Three major reasons why we need relics are, one, relics have been a source of miraculous healing, inspiration of faith, and advancement of God's, God's kingdom. Two, it also reminds us about the virtuous life the person lived. Three, it, it connects us to God through the saints. So friends, that's it on today's episode of Know Your Faith series. Let me know what you learned in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video, please. Till I come your way next time, always be bold and Catholic.